Bold and brave, understanding these powerful English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into two fascinating English phrases, bold and brave. These words often appear in our daily conversations, literature, and media, and understanding their nuances can greatly enhance your English language skills. Let's explore what makes these phrases so special and how they differ from each other. When we talk about being bold, we refer to someone who is not afraid to take risks or stand out. Boldness involves assertiveness, confidence, and often a readiness to challenge the status quo. It's about stepping forward with courage and determination, sometimes in a way that is unconventional or unexpected. Examples of boldness, making a bold fashion statement with unique attire, a business leader taking a bold decision that changes the industry, an artist presenting bold and innovative ideas. On the other hand, being brave means having the courage to face difficult situations, danger, or pain without showing fear. Bravery is about endurance and resilience in the face of challenges. It's a quality often associated with heroes and individuals who stand up against adversity. Examples of bravery. A firefighter running into a burning building is incredibly brave. Standing up for someone else in a difficult situation shows bravery. Overcoming personal fears, like speaking in public, can be a form of bravery. While bold and brave may seem similar, they have different connotations. Boldness is more about taking initiative and being proactive, often in creative or unconventional ways. Bravery, in contrast, is about resilience and endurance in the face of challenges or danger. Key differences. Boldness might involve challenging societal norms, while bravery often deals with personal challenges. Being bold can be a choice, whereas being brave is usually a response to a situation. Understanding the difference between bold and brave enriches our comprehension of the English language. These words empower us to describe actions, decisions, and characters with more precision. I hope this video helps you grasp these concepts and use them confidently in your conversations and writings. Stay curious and keep learning!